would just protest. You're a hippie? Oh, no, but I wrote a letter complaining about the hippies, and the police chased them right out of that park. So my point is, maybe you could write a letter. Ooh, maybe I can lodge a formal complaint with the school board about... Similar to Roman gladiator games, Christians, lions, money better spent on science and learning. You're joking, right? Did you see the word bazinga anywhere in that letter? You're going to make me say it, huh? Say what? People don't like you. Well, as my name all likes to say, water off a duck's back. Elections shouldn't be about popularity. They should be about who has the best ideas. And what's your idea? Less hoping you could give me some advice. I'm 10 years old. But if it helps get him on the phone, I'm well behaved, a straight A student, and have impeccable hygiene. Hello, this is Mayor Harris. I understand you are running for office. And for class president. Yeah? I understand you had a baby last year. If you bring it in, I'll try to kiss it. Vote Sheldon. Class. Until my ship comes in, I guess it's cupcakes. Sure do. Check it out. Oh, man, I hate that he's doing this. Why did it's cute? It's embarrassing. I would think you'd be proud of him. That's because you're a better person than me. Of course I said it. I say it all the time. But she took it out of context and is using it against me. Well, that is what happens in politics. People stretch the truth. Well, those people are dirty dogs. They certainly are. Now, let me ask you something. How bad do you want to wear? Could be her little sister. So? I'll see if I could dig up something about now you can use against her. Thank you. Georgie, I hate to have to ask this, but are you going to vote for me? No, go away. Are you sure? If I... I've got to dig up tomorrow's worms myself. Anything you can do to help me win a decisive victory come election day would be much appreciated. Oh, I'm sorry, Sheldon. The faculty doesn't get involved in student elections. Oh, I understand. You have to remain neutral. Wink, wink. I have a fear of public speaking. Since you give a sermon every Sunday, I was hoping you'd have some words of advice. As a matter of fact, I do. When I look down on my congregation and I feel nervous, I just ask the Lord to speak through me. Crowds, you couldn't shut me up. I don't see how that can benefit me. Not unless you'd like me to take your miniature golfing next time there are clouds on the horizon. Years old going to high school. Everyone's older than you, everyone's bigger than you, but you keep at it, day after day. That's brave. Any kid that could do that could give a speech to the United Nations. Thanks, but I've decided I don't want to stoop to her level. If I can't win on the quality of my ideas, then I'd rather lose with my head held high. That's really stupid, but in case you change your mind... Thank you, Miss McElroy, Principal Peterson, our hard-working teachers, and my fellow students. I'm blessed to call so many of you friends. Y'all probably know everything about me already. Lord knows I... God. Let me tell you another interesting fact about my opponent. Did you know that Sheldon Cooper is an atheist? about the next two words. Under God wasn't added to the Pledge of Allegiance until 1954. My first act as your president is to remove the words under God from the pledge in order to...